Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Happy Sunday. I am Sheree Vejan. I'm the co-founder of the Goal Setters Club, author of the 2023 Goals Journal. Um, we are on day eight of our series, Dream Big with God. My goal is to check in with you guys live every um, day in October uh, to go through the devotional. And I am live on YouTube and my daughter's live on her Instagram page. She's live every morning at 530 and I am live on YouTube. If you haven't had a chance to get the course, go ahead and scan the QR code at the bottom of the screen. Um, you will get access to our 2023 goals journal, the digital version. You'll get access to our prayer journal, um, coffee, candlelight, and conversations with God. And at the end of the 30 days, you will get a copy of this devotional that we're going through um, daily for the month of October. So I am going to get started, pull up our journal. So today's scripture is from Psalms 37, 4. Delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. And in Psalms 37, 4, we find a powerful promise. Delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. And this verse encourages us to find our deepest joy and satisfaction in our relationship with God. So when we take delight in him, aligning our hearts with his will, our desires become intertwined with his purpose. So it's essential to understand that delighting in the Lord isn't just a checkbox on our journey. It's the essence of our journey. So as we seek him and we spend time with him and his presence and grow in our faith, our desires begin to align with his desires. And the more we delight in God, the more our hearts become attuned to his purpose and our goals are transformed by uh, wisdom and love. And so today, uh, consider how you can deepen your delight in the Lord, how you can spend time in prayer and meditation and reading his word and seek to know him intimately because in doing so, you'll discover the fulfillment of his promises in ways you never imagined. Um, and I know we said this in the, uh, you know, a second, but as I was looking up and I could see how pastors get into a, a deeper understanding of the word, we start looking up words and you start looking it up in Hebrew and that type of thing. But I just said, let me look up the word delight. Um, and just read it from the dictionary. And it's a high degree of gratification or pleasure, a high degree of gratification or pleasure, extreme satisfaction, something that gives pleasure, the power of affording pleasure. And I thought that was pretty um, interesting um, because sometimes, and I can speak for myself, sometimes we might pray or we might study out of obligation or sometimes we feel a conviction or we feel like um or hey before i do this i need to do this with god but delighting is extreme satisfaction like i i i have joy in spending time with you there is joy in prayer there's joy in meditation there's joy in listening not just uh like we, like we said in devotional, not just a, a checkbox that you check off. Um, so again, consider how you can deepen your delight um, today, how you can be extremely satisfied and joyful as you begin to seek God, okay? So I am going to, our reflection question is, I cannot see the reflection question. Let's see. Our reflection question is, reflect on your relationship with God and how it impacts your desires and goals. How can you further delight in the Lord and seek his will 
in your ambitions? How might aligning your desires with his purpose bring greater fulfillment for your life? And then today's prayer, dear heavenly father, we come before you with hearts full of gratitude for the promise in Psalms 37, four, we desire to delight in you, to find our joy and satisfaction in your presence. As we do so, we trust that you will shape our desires to align with your purpose. Help us deepen our relationship with you and transform our goals into reflections of your will. In Jesus name, we pray, amen. And so I wanna thank you guys today uh, for joining me. I'm gonna put the QR code back up here for the course. All right, so if you still need to get the course, go ahead and, and scan the QR code or it's um, goalsingod.com. And if you notice, like we're on day eight, there's a theme. I think there is a theme here of make your plans, align your plans with God. Even if you don't have a plan, God is establishing a plan for you as you spend more time with him. And so you're not alone. So if you feel like you don't know your purpose, you don't have a plan, you're, you stop dreaming, you don't know why you're here, you don't know what you're supposed to do because this is what we get up in the morning. I don't know, you know, God will give you the desires of your heart as you delight yourself in him. If you seek him first, you know, we go through all these scriptures that we've been going through for the last eight days. It's kind of giving you some work to do, but it's saying, even if you don't do the work, if you come to me and you come in my presence and you seek me and you delight yourself in me, that I'm going to help you get these plans together because I already had a plan for you, actually. <laughs> Before you were born, I already had a plan for you. I know the number of hairs that you have on your head. And so in your goal setting and achieving process in your purpose planning, in your life planning, in your one five year, 10 year plan, God is has always been there. He's here now. And so spend this time in this 30 days. If you do this work, it's not a lot. Well, it is a lot. Um, if you do this work in the next 30 days, there is no reason why at the end of this 30 days, you will not know what your purpose is. You will not know, uh, you will not have goals set for yourself or you will not feel alone because you know, even if without a plan, God has a plan and you just need to align with him so he can tell you what his plan is and he can order your steps, all right? So I want you guys to have a great Sunday and I will see you tomorrow on day nine.